Good evening and welcome to the State Road 50 realignment public meeting. My name is Liz Bartell and I'm the project manager with the Florida Department of Transportation. During tonight's meeting, we will explain the department's plan to realign a segment of State Road 50 near Groveland and make safety and operational improvements along the corridor. We encourage your feedback and there are many ways you can provide input about this project. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing and will become part of the public meeting record. I will now turn it over to our project team to begin the presentation. This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar and over the phone. If you dialed in today on a telephone line, the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project webpage at www.cflroads.com slash project slash 427056-1. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve these goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 501, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5077, or email at melissa.mckinney at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Suwanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4742, or email at stefan.kulikowski at dot.state.fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. The proposed improvements to State Road 50 are from Villa City Road, or County Road 565, to Brown Street within the City of Groveland. This project includes the realignment of State Road 50 just north of downtown. Today, State Road 50 is a four-lane roadway with two travel lanes in each direction, with trucks accounting for a significant part of the area's traffic. Trucks are currently challenged at the intersections with State Road 19 and State Road 33 as they make the necessary turning movements. Realigning State Road 50 just north of Groveland's downtown improve safety and mobility by removing the heavy truck traffic from downtown streets. The realignment also supports the city's goal of having a pedestrian and bicycle-friendly downtown core. There are several adjacent projects that are in varying stages of completion. Those projects are South Lake Trail construction to the east and west, State Road 19 milling and resurfacing from Broad Street to the north. State Road 50 or Orange Street milling and resurfacing in downtown Groveland and Groveland's emerging downtown vision. There has been long-standing support for the realignment of State Road 50. 
It is number one on the Lake Sumter Metropolitan Planning Organization's priority list. A project development and environment, or PD&D, study was completed in 2012, followed by the completion of design plans in 2017. This project is currently in the plans update phase. The original design for the State Road 50 realignment would have provided two travel lanes in each direction with each lane 11 feet in width, four-foot conventional bike lanes in each direction, and a 14-foot shared use path on one side with a five-foot sidewalk on the other. Since the original design, several changes have occurred that affect the roadway's design. FDOT adopted a complete streets policy that focuses on a balanced approach to getting around. The Target Zero Safety Initiative aims to have zero fatalities or significant crash injuries. The South Lake Trail has been relocated to run through downtown Groveland instead of following realigned State Road 50 as originally planned. The City of Groveland has updated the Comprehensive Plan and Land Development Code to encourage a more walkable, livable community. Also, the City is developing a new downtown framework that will guide future development. Right-of-way funding has become available. As a result, it was determined that the State Road 50 design plans need to be updated to reflect these changes and to support the right-of-way acquisition process. Now, let's review the proposed design updates. As a reminder, the project is along State Road 50 from Villa City Road to Brown Street and includes the realignment of State Road 50 just north of the downtown area. From Villa City Road to Catherine Lane, the typical section elements are the same as the 2017 design with four travel lanes, two in each direction. However, there are some adjustments to the dimensions. Each travel lane is 12 feet wide instead of 11 feet. Median widths have been widened to meet current standards. Bicycle lanes were moved to a separated shared use path. The shared use path along westbound State Road 50 is 14 feet wide. The sidewalk on the eastbound side of State Road 50 is 5 feet wide. From Catherine Lane to State Road 33, State Road 50 continues to have four travel lanes, two in each direction, with each lane 12 feet wide. The shared use path along westbound State Road 50 is 10 feet wide and the sidewalk along eastbound State Road 50 is 6 feet wide. Please note that this section includes downtown Groveland, where the bicycle facilities leave State Road 50 and go downtown along local streets. State Road 33 to Brown Street is at the eastern end of the State Road 50 design project. For eastbound State Road 50, there are two travel lanes, each 12 feet wide, with a 5-foot wide sidewalk. To remain on State Road 50 when traveling westbound, drivers will make a right turn onto the new realigned State Road 50, which is represented by the two right turn lanes shown in the typical section. There is one through lane to travel along the local streets in downtown Groveland, and one left turn lane to access State Road 33. The shared use path along westbound State Road 50 is 14 feet wide in this section. The intersection at Orange Street and Broad Street will be signalized. Eastbound vehicles entering the intersection at Broad and Orange Streets will go straight to continue on the realigned State Road 50. To enter downtown Groveland, vehicles will make a right turn. Westbound vehicles will transition from the realigned State Road 50 to the existing roadway. 
They also will be able to make a left turn into downtown Groveland. Westbound vehicles leaving downtown will be able to make either a right turn onto the realigned State Road 50 or a left turn onto existing State Road 50. At this intersection, the South Lake Trail leaves the north side of State Road 50 and goes into downtown Groveland along the north side of Broad Street. The intersection of State Road 19 and the realigned State Road 50 will be signalized. Vehicles will be able to go in any direction, straight, right, or left. Pedestrian refuge islands will be located at the southeast and northwest quadrants. The intersection at State Road 33 will be signalized and a pedestrian refuge is provided in the northeast quadrant of the intersection. State Road 33 is where the realigned State Road 50 begins for westbound traffic and ends for eastbound traffic. The South Lake Trail also transitions to the north side of existing State Road 50. Lake County provides bus service through Lake Express. The proposed park and ride lot for Lake Express will be close to the intersection of State Road 50 and State Road 33. It will include 66 parking spaces with a bus bay planned on Rice Court. A section of the South Lake Trail is a part of this design project. From Villa City Road to Broad Street, the trail is located on the north side of State Road 50. It then crosses State Road 50 to follow the north side of Broad Street, then goes north on the west side of State Road 19 to Crittenden Street. The trail then follows the north side of Crittenden Street to the realigned State Road 50 at the Park and Ride Lot before continuing beyond State Road 33 on the north side of State Road 50. The South Lake Trail is part of the Coast to Coast Connector, a statewide trail that will connect Florida's west coast to the east coast. Design activities are ongoing and will be completed by spring 2026 at an estimated cost of $4.2 million. Right-of-way acquisition is underway and will be completed by late 2025 at a cost of $49 million. Construction funding is anticipated by fall 2028. We encourage your input and feedback about this project and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by June 26, 2023, 11 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. In-person attendees are encouraged to speak with project team members to ask questions and provide input. To submit a comment for the public meeting record, please complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www dot cflroads.com slash project slash 427056-1. You may also contact the project manager directly by email at elizabeth.bartell at dot.state.fl.us or by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 542, Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call the project manager at 386-943-5255 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notifications, comment form, 
and the Project Information Handout. To learn more about this project, go to www.cflroads.com. Type the project number 427056-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by June 26, 2023. Have a good evening, and remember, safety is everyone's responsibility.